Hello students, welcome back to your online class. Today we will be starting the next chapter that is chapter 7 respiration in plants. I hope you all know what is respiration, right? What is respiration? Respiration, it's a process in which your glucose is broken down in order to produce energy. Now, do you think uh, plants undergo respiration? Your answer would be yes. Plants also require energy in order to carry out many functions. Okay. So, they carry out respiration both day and night. Okay. For what all things do you uh, think plants require energy? Uh, it would be for absorption of water, absorption of minerals, okay, in order to convert your glucose into, the, into starch, for building up many of the proteins inside the plant, okay, for all these things, plants require energy and for that, they what how do they uh, get energy in similar manner to that of uh, animals just like in animals glucose is broken down in order to produce energy right in similar manner plants also carry out the respiration and that usually takes place in the presence of oxygen okay so in uh, in this particular chapter we will be discussing about respiration in plants okay like if I tell you the general meaning, respiration so meaning would be similar for that of plants as well as for animals. So your equation for respiration would be glucose in the presence of oxygen is broken down to produce energy byproducts are your carbon dioxide and water this seems to be a single step process right if you just go through the general meaning of respiration it, it seems to be a single uh, single process sim very simple single process but it's not like that okay your respiration uh, is carried out in two step process and one each process also has a continuation of many steps okay so your respiration uh, will be carried out through two important chemical process one would be your glycolysis and another would be your Krebs cycle now in case of glycolysis your glucose is converted into pyruvate now your glycolysis itself is a 10 step enzyme mediated process okay with the help of enzymes different chemical compounds are broken down okay uh, for so in first step that is glycolysis your glucose is broken down into pyruvate and it takes place in cytoplasm okay so in glycolysis first your glucose would be broken down into glucose 6 phosphate with the help of enzyme called hexokinase and further your glucose 6-phosphate would be broken down into fructose 6-phosphate further fructose 6-phosphate would be broken down into fructose not broken down it would be converted into fructose 1,6-phosphate so it is a series of 10 steps which is regulated by different enzymes you don't have to lo uh, go in detail about the different 10 step process you just have to know that in glycolysis uh, glucose is converted into a pyruvate just uh, what i want to say is uh, the respiration though we write it in a single equation it does not mean that it is a single step process okay so your glucose is converted into pyruvate it takes place in uh, cytoplasm of a cell and further in Krebs cycle your pyruvate is then uh, converted into energy okay uh, so uh, it and your Krebs cycle it takes place in mitochondria so uh, eventually your respiration is being completed in mitochondria that's why mitochondria is also referred to as powerhouse of cell because energy is produced in those in that particular organelle okay 
so in your respiration uh, your whatever the energy is liberated it is not generally in the form of heat okay most of the energy is converted into atp adenosine triphosphate it's also termed as, as energy currency of cell because whenever the energy is required your atp is utilized okay that's why it is also referred to as energy currency of the cell your atp is utilized and then converted into adp okay and whenever again whenever your glucose is broken down uh, uh, to while carrying out the respiration again your adp gets converted into atp okay by addition of a phosphate group okay so that's all about the respiration okay respiration the general meaning is uh, production of energy okay in the basically in the presence of oxygen okay now we all know that uh, respiration can also be further divided into two types on the basis of presence and absence of oxygen your if it is in the presence of oxygen or uh, it is known as aerobic respiration and if it is in the absence of oxygen not absence but uh, oxygen is present in a very less amount okay mm, not totally absent but it is present in less amount than optimum required in those kind of uh, when respiration takes place that's termed as your uh, anaerobic respiration okay now all the chemical processes can be divided into two types catabolic and anabolic catabolic process and anabolic process now catabolic means here breakdown of something is taking place and the energy is being released okay so what do you think is respiration respiration is a catabolic process because here your glucose is being broken down and then energy is being produced so respiration is your catabolic process another one is anabolic just the opposite of catabolic that means something is being added up and energy is being utilized here so what would be the example your photosynthesis is a anabolic process because there carbon dioxide water in the presence of sunlight uh, is uh, used to make a glucose okay so here something is being constructed so that's a anabolic process so photosynthesis is your anabolic process so like i told you uh, plants undergo respiration so what are the different uh, pathways or inlets through which your oxygen enter in order to carry out because for respiration you need oxygen right most of the time respiration is respiration process is carried out in the presence of oxygen so how do oxygen enter okay three main inlets number one which we are familiar with it's stomata we all know what is stomata right it's a tiny pores which are present on the lower surface of the leaves through that region your oxygen enters okay number two would be your lenticles lenticles are like stomata it usually opens during the daytime and then closes at the night right regulation of which we will be dealing with in uh, later later on okay let in a uh, maybe in class 10 but another one is lenticles lenticles are open pore they are present in the old stem okay and they are open all the time okay they it's not like stomata that it opens during daytime and then closes at night that doesn't happen in case of lenticles they are present in the old stem bark region through that also oxygen enters number three would be through the surface of the roots also that's why uh, before uh, growing any kind of crops or uh, any kind of crops on the field plowing and tilling is done right the plowing and the tilling it is done that is why is that is carried out so that more there would be more a space and oxygen would enter through the root okay for that reason plowing and tilling is done okay now have you ever heard someone saying that do not sleep under the trees at night okay number one uh, region would be because at night plants do not carry out photosynthesis because there is no sunlight right but they carry out respiration and during respiration what happens they take in the oxygen from the atmosphere okay and then we know that the product of respiration is carbon dioxide also so carbon dioxide is released okay because of that also uh, they advise you not to 
sleep under the tree at night that's not just the reason another reason would be like nocturnal birds and all they might they would uh, reside on that trees and they might release some substance which should be which would be harmful to us okay because of that also uh, they do advise you not to sleep under the tree because at night we would not be able to visualize anything right that's why that's the other secondary reason because of which people advise you not to sleep under the tree at night okay so today we got the general idea about what is the respiration where does it take place okay uh, uh, the uh, respiration is not just a simple process till now we have been learning that it's a single in a single equation though you don't have to learn in detail but we right now we know that uh, respiration uh, it has two major steps glycolysis and krebs cycle in glycolysis glucose is converted into pyruvate and your krebs cycle your pyruvate is converted into atp right energy currency of the cell we should know the full form of atp what is that adenosine triphosphate okay we know there are two types of respiration on the basis of presence and absence of oxygen I, if presence of oxygen then it is known as aerobic respiration another one is your anaerobic respiration that takes place in the scarcity of a oxygen okay we know the inlets through which oxygen enter the plants uh, to carry out the respiration so those are the general basic idea about it in our next class we will be discussing whether uh, oxygen is really essential for carrying out the respiration or not different experiments related to the uh, respiration and these experiments are very important from your exam point of view generally diagram based questions are, are experimental application based questions are asked from this particular uh, experiments that we would be discussing in our next class so thank you